back to my channel and today is going to be my February BoxyCharm unboxing video. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna do a BoxyCharm unboxing video and I'm gonna do it like kind of a try on style. I've already got some of my makeup on and the rest of my makeup I'm gonna do using the products in my BoxyCharm. I've already taken a look in here just to see what we got so that I know what to use. So I'm gonna open it up and inside this one is like packed to the top. The first thing that's on top is a coupon for Cover FX 20% off. So that's cool. There is a Cover FX product in here, and then there is the box theme. This one is Galaxy Glow, and then on the back, as usual, BoxyCharm always has the prices of the full size products. Normally in the box we get full size products anyways, but just in case. Okay, so the first thing in the box that I see is this pack of brushes. These are from Crown. It is a three-piece Pro Brush Trio. They are white with pink tips. I'm gonna use these today. I'm gonna use this one, I think, for highlighter. Um, it's not what I would normally use for highlighter, but but I'm gonna try it. They've got the little places here to put your fingers so that you're holding your brush properly. I hold my brush sometimes like a savage, so I'm like doing like this, you know, like really just like going in there. I think I'm supposed to like have my fingers here on these things very gently like apply my makeup, but I'm just like, we all do that, right? Or is that just me? And then I've also got an eyeshadow kind of packing brush. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use this today because we did get an eyeshadow product. Uh, the next thing that I see in the box, which I'm gonna go ahead and use, is this Seraphine Botanical Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. And I'm just gonna unwrap it because it's wrapped in lovely plastic. It comes in like this tube. I've never used this product before or this brand. It's in like a squeezy tube. A blend of soft Soft sugar crystals with a rich, nourishing salve base that gently exfoliates and buffs lips, leaving behind smoother skin with a touch of refreshing lemon zest scent made with avocado, apricot, and jojoba oil, as well as shea and coconut butter to help rejuvenate and hydrate dry lips. Using your index finger, gently massage the salve onto lips until sugar crystals melt, then rinse with cold water or wipe with a wet tissue to reveal soft, gentle skin. Well, let's exfoliate my dry lips. Oh, and it does come covered with a little peely off thing. It smells really good. It smells like like lemon cookies. It smells really good. Ew, but it looks kind of nasty. Look at this. Ooh, index finger to lips. It's like really, I don't know. It feels like there's not a whole lot going on, but I think it's supposed to be super gentle. It does feel really, really moisturizing though. I will tell you that right now. It does have a good taste. It really, it tastes like dessert, like cookies or cake or something like that, like lemon cookies. It's really interesting. I actually kind of like this a lot. I'm not sure how well it will do at actually exfoliating. The sugar crystals seem very, very gentle, so I'm not sure. It's just not what I'm used to on my lips, and I get really dry lips. As far as moisturizing, I think this is gonna be really good. I mean, I'm gonna have to use it more times, but so far, I like it. This retails for $24. Oh, it does say a blend of soft sugar crystals. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. Probably wiping off some of my foundation too. My lips actually feel really soft and I don't feel any dry skin. My lips actually feel really soft and I don't feel any dry skin on them. So I think this is a good product. I've never heard of it, but I like it. I'm gonna continue to use it. My lips feel super moisturized. I'm into it. I think it'll be, ah, I think it'll be good. Next thing in the box is this. This is Cover FX Shimmer Veil. I think it's gonna be similar to like the Stila liquid eyeshadows. That's what I'm thinking. Cover FX Shimmer Veil. Multi-use shimmering cream colors are crease-proof enough for the boldest of eye looks and formulated with a weightless finish for a shimmering effect anywhere on the face. So I guess you could use it as a highlight too. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of eyeshadow so that I kind of have a little bit of a base for this. I've got the Meat Matte Nude Palette um, and I'm gonna use this color right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and use this brush. Okay, so I've got down that base shade. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this. The shade that I got is called Amethyst. It's like a pinky purple 
Looks like shimmer. These retail for $28. This, I assume, is full size. Obviously, this was full size as well. It comes out on like the same type of applicator as the Stila ones do. So I'm just gonna apply it like I would the Stila glitters and see how that works. It's kind of iridescent pink, almost. Like it, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but out, I almost said outside of the camera. Outside of the camera, it is iridescent. But it looks, it really, it looks different. On camera, it just kind of looks like a shimmery pink. Off camera, in real life, it looks like, I don't know, It you can't see the color unless you're directly in the light, which is probably why on camera it looks so pink because I have all of my lights on my vanity on but in person when you open your eye it looks like you don't have color on your whole eye even if you do it looks like there are places where color is not I don't know I mean I like it kind of for you know that effect I wouldn't wear this every day especially not this shade anyway if there was like a gold or something that was more natural looking definitely but this one this one is very like ethereal looking I don't know I guess the theme is galaxy so maybe that's why it's it's kind of weird I mean I kind of like it but it's kind of weird at the same time I think a different shade maybe would be more my speed I'm not the biggest fan of pink all the time so I don't know how I will like this. It is interesting, and I think this is a good product overall. Um, I really like the, you know, liquid eyeshadow things. They are good for quick application. You don't have to sit and blend forever. You don't have to put a bunch of colors. I usually just throw color onto my crease, throw on brow highlight, inner corner highlight, and then, you know, I only have the Stila ones, but throw on one of these liquid eyeshadows and you're done. Next thing in the box is this Vintage Cosmetics Eyeliner. Unfortunately, mine arrived a little bit damaged, but I'm gonna go ahead and resharpen it. Mine arrived with the lid off, so I think it just, the lid just popped off in transit, and I don't think it's been really mess with or anything like that. So I've got this pencil. Um, I've resharpened it. I'm going to go ahead and use this for my eyeliner. I'm just going to tight line. For a pencil eyeliner, it is very soft and you don't need a lot of pressure to apply it. I like this eyeliner so far. If I put it on my hand, it's pretty black and it just kind of goes on really easily. This is from Vintage Cosmetics and retails for $21. To me, that's a little bit expensive for an eyeliner, especially just a pencil eyeliner, but everybody's preference you know, what you wanna spend on makeup is your preference. But I'm gonna throw on some mascara. I'm just using the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I need to get a new one because mine's getting clumpy. Okay, so I've put on the mascara. I just wanna keep this look pretty light today because the eyeshadow is so, it's such a weird formula. Not formula, but like color, I guess, that I want to. I don't want to put a whole lot of lower lash stuff on or anything like that. I am going to throw on a nude eyeliner in my waterline just to cover up. I have like a red waterline. So it's weird. I don't know if it's weird. I don't know if everybody has that, but I do. I'm actually really liking the purple eyeshadow. I don't like that you can't always see it, but I it is growing on me and I do kind of like it and I probably will use it. So... That's good, right? The next thing that I'm gonna do is put on some blush. I'm gonna use this big brush here from the Crown set. The They don't have a number on them. And I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. blush in the shade Twinkle Pink. I'm just gonna apply that. I like the brushes. They are really soft. They apply really well. They do pick up a lot of product though, so be wary of that. When I first dipped into the blush, I had tons of product on here. I don't know if I mentioned the Brush Trio set is $29.99, and they're obviously full-size brushes, and the eyeliner is full-size too, if I didn't say that. The last thing in the box is this Naked Cosmetics Highlight Palette. It says Holographic Highlighter Palette, but I think just the packaging is holographic. On the inside, there are six shades. I'm gonna swatch each one for you. They are all colorful shades. This retails for $39.99. So I've got here, they don't have names, unfortunately. Here is the pink shade. The next one is kind of purple. The next one looks like it's red or 
blue. This one kind of looks red and blue together with like a, like it's red sometimes like that and then sometimes it's blue. Green one, you can see that that one is obviously green. Blue one, actual blue one. And then there's like a yellow gold one. And that is the gold yellow one. I think out of all of these, the pink and the yellow gold are my favorites. I think I'm gonna try the pink shade just to kind of go with the eyeshadow color. So I'm gonna get in here. It's pink, definitely. The quality of the highlight is there. The formula is nice, they're soft, they're creamy. I'm gonna add a little bit of the purple because that's kind of what the eye shadow is. It's like a pink purple mix. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the purple to this just to see what happens. I'm not real big on the colored highlights, but one thing that this palette I do already notice is that when I look straight on, you don't see the color. You don't see the pink. You don't see the purple. It's only if I turn and like it gets in the light that you see it. So I do like that because that's one thing that I don't like with colored highlights. Sometimes when you put them on, it's just like bam, color. And it's like your face just has like a color. But this one, I do notice that the effect of it, when you look straight on, it does go away. You don't notice it. And so you turn into the light and then you see the color. So I do like that. I'm going to mix the pink and the purple together and highlight my nose. I actually do like this palette, okay? Um, I did not think I would, but I do like, now I say that I like it, but I'm still not gonna use it every day. But I do like that it's not just bam in your face color. I like that it's light. I like that it's not so pigmented. What else do I need? Lips, said it. We didn't get a lip product in the box, so I'm just gonna grab one real quick. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fairy Floss. I just got this one recently. I haven't tried it out yet. This one just kind of left my lips as they are and just put like a little bit of a sheen over them, muted it maybe a little bit. Overall value of the box, give me a second, I have to do some maths. Okay, so I did some math and total value of the box this month is $142.98. I paid $21 for this box and there isn't a single product less than $21. The eyeliner is $21, so the box pretty much even just with the eyeliner pays for itself. I am I'm pretty happy with this box this month. BoxyCharm is my favorite box, subscription box to get. I think we always get good products, even if there's like a product or two that, you know, isn't something that you would personally use. I think that you get overall good products, you get a good value for the box, you always get full size products. Overall, I really like this box. I think that it was really, really good and yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching. I hope that you like this type of video. I really like to get my BoxyCharm and try on the products and kind of see how they work. So I like to share that with you guys as well. Just in case you're thinking of getting the box, kind of gives you an idea of what you get and how the products work and what you are getting for your money. Yeah, BoxyCharm is $21. This is not sponsored, although it would be awesome if it could be, but this is not sponsored. I'll put the link down below if you want to get BoxyCharm. Unfortunately, I think there is a bit of a wait list, but I think that it usually goes through relatively quickly. So yeah, and it's only $21 a month and you get five full-size products and I think that that is pretty awesome. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one.